guys, Andrew Banky here, Gambler Pro Staff. Uh, just going to do a quick review of the new Gear Up package, the Total Swim Jig package. will be available on Gambler's website, gamblerlures.com. Um, overall, I did open up the package before uh, this, this video was shot. I took them out, used them. Great baits. Uh, this Gear Up package literally has anything and everything that you could ever want to throw with these baits. It's got the swim jigs itself, it's got the trailers that you need, and it comes in this awesome dry bag that they send the whole package to you. Let's get right into it here. Overall, as you can tell, the ones that I used, they're gone. Uh, I was using them as heavy cover swim jigs, uh, which is what they are. Um, being from Wisconsin, I feel like the, the swim jig itself gained a lot of popularity up here. Um, a lot of guys out on the Mississippi River and the whole Wolf River chain, anywhere there are tournaments fished in Wisconsin, I feel like a swim jig comes into play more often than any other bait. Um, so I thought that it would be fitting to give it a shot and see if I liked them or not. Um, honestly, they are what they say, they are a heavy cover swim jig. Um, take this one out of the package right here. This is the half ounce uh, white and that it comes with uh, 5 sixteenths white and then it comes with two black and blue uh, There's another black and blue one and A couple of my favorite ones we'll get into after this But just to get into the bait itself you can see very very thick weed guard uh, I did not really get hung up in weeds at all with these. I mean, you just pop them out and they come free pretty quick because of that head design breaks the, way the weeds apart. The skirt is a little bit thicker. Um, what I found is if you trim it, it seems to pulse a lot better. What makes this thing, the heavy cover swim jig that it is with the weed guard, is the size of that hook. A lot of swim jigs that I use in open water and very sparse weeds um, more of a fine wire hook. I mean, that's with these ones, I was doing very short casts and mainly around wood and weeds, thick weeds. Um, so white, very good. Anywhere there's shad, minnows, that kind of stuff. Obviously, your dirtier water. Black and blues can be bluegills. It just helps the fish find it. Um, something that is a mainstay up here for me. I don't know so much about other people, but is always something green pumpkin anything that looks like a bluegill up here that is their main forage um, doesn't matter largemouth or smallmouth everything and anything that swims in our water around here eats bluegills bluegill is like the shad of the north they're in every single body of water and they always come into play um, so you got the jigs this is the bluegill colored ones um, they have a creek craw which is very similar to this, this is their green pumpkin, another great color. And then let's get into the trailers, this is the meat right here. Um, where, I was, where I was fishing these, it was a river system that has largemouth and smallmouth in it. So I was throwing, I mixed it up, I did the green pumpkin, uh, the green pumpkin, the creek craw color, and I threw the white. When I was throwing the white, I was throwing the, the burner craw with the chartreuse tips because of Smallmouth, they love chartreuse, anything bright colored, it seems to really get their attention. Uh, it comes with a black and blue burner craw, and then you got the twin tail grubs, it's got the white, white lightning twin tail grubs, and you got these awesome ones, the green pumpkin june bugs, so you got a little bit of both, I mean, that's a color that not a lot of these fish probably see. I'll take them out here, and they're a lot different than any other twin tail grub that I've ever fished, which I really like because the meat right here threads up on there and gets the keeper. It does not come off. It's great. Um, I've also used the burner crod not only as a trailer, I mean, and not only on swim jigs. Um, it works great, Texas rig, whatever you want to do with it. But as a trailer, I've thrown it on spinner baits, buzz baits, and swim jigs. It's an awesome trailer, a lot of action, a lot of vibration. Um, you got your green pumpkin, it's awesome. Green pumpkin burner cross. Um, probably one of my favorite trailers that Gambler's ever had. 
has been the easy swim baits. These are the, the little easy swim baits that go on the back of these swim jigs. And it works fantastic, gives it a good pulsing action. Um, you got the, these are the black and blue, bluegill. So it's got green pumpkin and the black and blue. Awesome color up here. Uh, gold brush and the nickel penny. Anytime there's minnows around, these baits are going to come into play. So you know with these coming in the geared up package, you're not going to have to pay obviously nearly as much as trying to buy all these separately. You can buy them all in one easy little I mean, if you, gift. It can be a gift for somebody. It can be whatever you want it to be. It can be for yourself. But this one's for me. I'm keeping it. This is awesome. All this stuff, I'm going to use it on a regular basis. As far as technique goes, like I said before, I wasn't doing very long casts any of this cover. It was more of like a pitch and flip, and then I'm just working the bait back, popping it out of the weeds, hopping it over the logs, letting it sink down. Um, when it was in the current, I'd used a little bit of the heavier ones, uh, the, the half ounce ones, just to try and get it to the fish. Um, it's, it's a great bait. looks awesome coming through the water. So yeah, I would definitely give them a shout. Gambler Bates.